Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stated in a narration that women are the twin halves of men. God states in the Holy Quran that the men believers and women believers are helpers, supporters, friends, protectors of one another. Islam states that both men and women were created in a pure state and that both are equal in the eyes of God. The only real criterion that judges the superiority of one person over another is that of piety, God consciousness and righteousness. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of God is the righteous of you. Quran 49.13 Both men and women in the Islamic faith are expected to fulfill the obligations of faith worship, prayer, charity, etc. And as stressed in the Holy Quran, women are no different than men in the spiritual sense. Both men and women are subject to the reward or punishment of God. And whoever does righteous deeds, whether male or female, while being a believer, those will enter paradise and will not be wronged, even as much as the speck on a dead seed. Quran 4, 1, 2, 4. While both men and women are spiritually equal in the eyes of God, the two genders are not identical and claim many biological, psychological, and physical differences. Therefore, it could not be logical to compare the roles of men and women. The rights, responsibilities, and roles of each gender are balanced, yet not necessarily the same. Each gender claims different roles in life, and each is suited for that role by their functions as designed by nature. Generally speaking, men in general possesses more physical strength than women, which is why men and women compete in separate athletic competitions in rigorous sports such as boxing or basketball. And the male is not like the female. Quran 3.36 For example, women are equipped for childbearing, while men are incapable of performing this function. On the other hand, a man is suited for military field battles during times of war. The appointment of a woman to fight in the field in a place of a man would disadvantage an army. One should not misinterpret these differences to mean that men are more superior or inferior to women. Rather, these roles are attributed to the nature, capacity, and proper functioning between genders. Men and women complement each other, with each existing as a means of mutual fulfillment to the other. Men and women have different preferences and degrees of advantage in different areas. The Holy Quran states that men stand at one degree over women, with Islamic scholars referencing the verse indicating that men are caretakers of women and should fulfill all their rights to women in terms of protecting, supporting, and providing for them. This verse is not implying that men stand as authority over women. Women, as a matter of fact, are in truth the beneficiaries of this verse. A woman's role is to comfort and support their man. He who created both men and women knows the capabilities, weaknesses, and strengths of each gender.